My name is Tenzin. I live in Dharamsala in India, but my home is in Tibet. That's where most of my family is still. It's hard not being with them, but it's a little easier now that we have internet and mobile phones. Thank God for technology. It lets me keep tabs on the people I love, no matter how far away we are. I would say I live a good part of my life online because that's how I can stay connected to them. Unfortunately, we're not the only ones using this technology to keep tabs on people. Recently, I learned something awful. In the past few years, thousands of Tibetans' computers and now also phones have been secretly infected by viruses and turned into spy tools that allow the Chinese government unrestricted access to our lives, even here in exile. I had to wonder, were mine infected? I learned about viruses that could let the Chinese government turn on my webcam and watch me through it. Listen to me through the microphone on my computer, record every keystroke I type, read every message I send and receive. They can even intercept and poison email attachments I send out, so that people who trust me are tricked into letting viruses into their computers. Even governments and big companies aren't able to defend themselves. At first, knowing all this made me paranoid and depressed. It seemed too hard to deal with. These attacks are so sophisticated, and I'm not a tech person. I thought the only solution was to hire big-time cybersecurity superheroes, or to pay a lot of money for expensive antivirus software. But then I realized that the solution was much closer than I thought. Turns out, I am the best antivirus. Digital security is all about me and my good habits online. Think before you click. Keep your software up to date. Know your app. Don't give the bad guys permission to enter your life. Remember, the best antivirus is me and you. Learn the ways of the cybersecurity superhero here, and stay safer for Tibet.